Bishops, the Commission of Enquiry for Councils in KMC and Banjo. Uh, this is another commission of inquiry that has been set up uh, in order to prop into the activities of the country. And uh, of course, we had some commissions uh, that were set and they did their work. Of course, one among them is the TRRC Commission, the Jani Commission, you know, and the other inquiry, if you like, you know, panels were set in order to them to investigate and come up uh, with, uh, you know, information. And then at the end of the day, uh, testimonies were also given. But uh, what comes out of it, we still are, seeing, are labeling it as a witch hunt. Many are seeing it as a witch hunt. Well, it is important that the government should come out and explain the, uh, to the nation because communication is very important. But uh, I, also, also, I also want to say that it is important that uh, when one is informed, one would transform. And when one had transformed, one can perform. And that is why it's important that uh, the government needs to come out at all costs to inform people so that they are educated, they are aware. Because if they are not informed, uh, rumors, speculation, you know, and the, the war against speculation is all is about clarity. If you like call clarification, the war against speculation is clarification. So at most times when uh, speculations are raised, the government need to come out plainly and give clarity or give clarification. That is the war against speculation. To the activities of the councils, we'll put up over one million dollars, if you like, as payment to all commissioners appointed to carry out the tax for three months. Now, each commissioner will receive ninety thousand, ninety thousand dollars per month for three months. Now, each one of them will walk away with two hundred seventy thousand, making it a total of one point three five million dollars. I hope the government will act on the commission's report at the end of their report. Hence, the taxpayers' money have been used in setting up this commission. Now, we have to know who are these panelists. You know, and we have, you know, Imam Babali. He is a human rights commissioner who is currently employed and receiving a salary. Does that mean that there will be one commissioner shot at the human rights commission? This is a question that I have to leave you know, on the neck of those that have set this commission. And uh, the next commissioner uh, is Mr. Joyner. Well, there was a huge outcry when Mr. Joyner, which is NPP member, alleged, was allegedly appointed as board chair. Rumor has it that the appointment was resented. It was revoked. And uh, here again, I raise a question to ask, was it true? And if yes, why? Of course. Uh, the next commissioner uh, that I know, Mr. Fall, he is also rumored that he is a member of NPP in Banjul. If that is the case, then there will be a drama in the show. And people are worth, people are worthing to see how this commission, uh, commissioners, will perform their duties. You're right. Uh, the next commissioner is Mrs. Sanyang. She is a head of a school on the KMC. So uh, she would be expected to recourse to herself. That is what was the expectation of people that she could have recourse herself when KMC is being discussed. Uh, at an eye watering of 90,000 per month, uh, she will not be able to, of course, fulfill her role in its entirety. Of course, uh, you cannot run while you are running and you are crutching your knee. Uh, that is.